Because we're interested in wringing the utmost performance out of our cartridges for long range, we use high BC VLD bullets. VLD stands for very low drag. Generally, this is a secant ogive, so a secant ogive on the nose, and those bullets like to shoot close to or touching the lands. So you find your accuracy close to or touching the lands. For a hunting gun, we don't want to touch the lands or jam into the lands because sooner or later, you're going to close your bolt, uh, you're going to open it because you didn't get the shot opportunity, the case and the bullet come apart, you got powder everywhere, it could ruin your hunt. What we're looking for is a maximum overall length that is 15 to 25 thousandths away from touching your lands. That's the best optimum performance for a hunting gun. So what we need to determine is how long our chamber is, and that is our lands to the face of our bolt. Now there's several different tools that we can use to do that. When I started reloading, I used a Sharpie and I color the tips of my bullets and just make them longer and longer and longer until I could see that the lands were touching on the bullet. And then I just back it off until it was clear. That's kind of crude, but it worked. Uh, the next tool that I got is from Hornaday and they make this uh, overall length gauge kit and it, it works really well. Uh, basically you have a case that's threaded so it can thread onto the tool and the case fits into your chamber and you just use this little stem to push the bullet out until it touches or doesn't touch the lands and once you've got it so it's touching and it's hard you tighten that up and then you just measure the overall length. Now a limitation here is I like to use a case that's fired in the chamber of my gun. That way your head space and everything is controlled and you don't have an issue where the case not fitting properly gives you a false reading on your overall length. Uh, you end up with a whole case of cartridges to try to accommodate your different reloading uh, instances. It's a good tool. The tool I'm going to show you today is a Frankfurt Arsenal cartridge overall length gauge. I kind of like this thing. It, it's just a few pieces uh, it's very affordable and it doesn't require any special tooling to do any cartridge, any bullet, any gauge. Um, basically we're going to use a cleaning rod and a few clamps and a caliper to measure our, our, uh, our overall length. There's a little device that we're going to screw into the end of our cleaning rod and this is going to allow us to go all the way into our chamber and touch the bolt face and then touch the front of the bullet without worrying about a hole there. I'm going to put my bolt in and if, you, if you've got your bolt in and it's cocked, that firing pin is going to be pulled back out of the face of your bolt. So I'll just slide this all the way until it touches. There it's touching my bolt face. And then we'll just take this clamp I'm just going to tighten that up flush against the end of the muzzle. Okay, we'll pull the bolt out. Now you're going to need a little tool uh, and we're just going to push the bullet that we're going to use up into the chamber. Just use this little tool. Okay, now I'm pushing that up into the chamber. It's touching the lens. It's at its maximum overall length. Then we'll just bring this tool in to where it touches, right there. See? And then all we have to do is put this little deal. Okay, once I've got these two uh, stops set up, I'm just going to measure center line to center line. I got 2.856. Now that's my maximum cartridge overall length gauge. You ever see COAL? That stands for cartridge overall length. What I'm going to do is adjust the seating stem on my die so that my overall length is 20 thousandths less than that number. And that's going to be your recommended starting point for the best long range ammunition you can make. I'm Aaron Davidson. Join us for more do-it-yourself shooting tips here at the Long Range Pursuit.